As our understanding of Alzheimer's disease has deepened, researchers have categorized the progression of symptoms in three key phases, collectively known as the Alzheimer's disease continuum. Phase one is cognitively normal or preclinical. In this phase, individuals show no outward signs of decline in memory, language, or problem-solving skills. However, research has shown that changes in the brain are already happening years before symptoms manifest. Phase two is mild cognitive impairment, or MCI. This phase is characterized by a decline in cognitive abilities beyond what is considered normal for a person's age and education level. Individuals with MCI may experience memory loss and problems with language, attention, and decision-making. While not everyone with MCI will develop dementia, it frequently serves as an early indicator of the condition. Phase three is dementia, and it is the most severe phase of Alzheimer's disease, as individuals begin experiencing significant memory loss, disorientation, and other cognitive impairments that impact their daily lives. In this phase, individuals are unable to care for themselves and often require the support of caregivers and healthcare professionals. While there is currently no cure for Alzheimer's or dementia, ongoing research aims to find ways to alleviate symptoms and improve the quality of life for those in every phase of the disease. By understanding the Alzheimer's continuum, we can focus on preventing the disease in preclinical patients, slowing down the disease for those with MCI, and providing the best possible care and support for those diagnosed with dementia. If you want to know more about current research around Alzheimer's disease and potentially participate in a study yourself, visit atri.usc.edu to learn more about the studies and research happening now.